Tonight, a woman forced to choose between her son and the man she loves. You set me up! A choice that could cost her everything. Another woman in love with the wrong man. Do you want me to go? One desperate night, they risked it all. Now there's no turning back. And now, night's in. He's going to do a lot more than launch a magazine. He's going to turn my life around. Starting tonight. Keep that in a safer place, you know. Why? I can always count on you to give it back to me. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe we should split Salem down the middle. You stay on your half, I'll stay on mine. That way we'll stop running into each other. No, I don't blame you for being angry. I, I just can't help wishing that you wouldn't be angry. <laughs> What do you expect me to be, Carly? I mean, you lied to me. Every day, every night, you were so hung up on another man, so much so, that you lied to get him off a murder charge. That's it. That's all you have to say. I guess that pretty much says it all, doesn't it? Plane scheduled to take off at 8.15, Dr. Manning. Are you ready to go? Yeah. There's nothing left for me in Salem now. Don't you think? Yes, I'm surprised Victor didn't put his name on it. Hell, I'm surprised he didn't put his whole face on it. Although, if you do look at it from a certain angle, you can see the old... ...stone face himself. What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, actually, I just realized I left the car keys in the car. It's a little chilly out here. Why don't you go in and I'll be in directly. Well, I'll meet you inside, huh? Yes, I'll, I'll be in there. You better be. Yes. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm going to a party, Jack. No, you're not going to a party. You're going for a little walk Jack, with me. you don't let go of me. I'm not going to let go of you. start screaming. What are you going to scream? I'll Will. scream that you're a pervert and no. you're accosting me. I'm not I will. You're Billy, grabbing me and I will... Stop, Billy. Stop. You... Hey, let's let him get coat. It's none of your business. What is it? It's a manuscript business. The one I can find is the one that you stole. I did not steal it. And I'm going to sell it to Victor. You are not selling it to the man who tried to steal a spectator. You're going to give it to me right now. Jack, if you don't let go of me, you're going to have some explaining to do. What are you talking about? Your wife is right behind us. I'd let go if I were you. Uh, Jennifer. Let me stop with your phone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, whoa. Oh, 
The winner's gonna be on the cover of Victor's new magazine. I cannot even imagine something like this happening to me. Well, why not? You're beautiful enough. You just say that because you love me. No, I say it because it's true. You know, you underestimate yourself. Austin, you don't know how much tonight means to me. And I'm not just talking about the party, I'm talking about afterwards. When we're alone. Maybe I shouldn't say this. I don't know. I'm just really happy that I waited until I met you. But right now, when I look in those blue eyes, <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can wait. Captain Brady, please, his wife. Hello. I'm at the Titan party. Well, I'm not actually there yet. I'm, I'm downstairs. I could wait for you right here. We could go in together. Forget it, Doc. Look, I know that you're upset about the fight we had. Uh, listen, Doc, I've got to take this call. I'll talk to you later at home, okay? Goodbye. see you tonight? Yeah, I didn't expect to see you here either. Especially alone. I'm not. Roman is coming. You know, Doc, you couldn't lie to me when we were married and you still can't. God, you look beautiful tonight. Wait, please. Don't do this. Just a minute. Don't. If you care about me at all, don't touch me. Not now. Not ever again. God, I am out of there. Never mind God. Thank me for posting bail. Where's Nikki? He's in the limo. I didn't think you'd want your son to see you here. Also, he's beginning to remember all the details of the night Lizanne Gardner died. Does he realize he's responsible? Not yet, but I'm afraid he's something. Well, then we've got him out. fast. I know so that. Thank God we're getting him out yes, of the country so before Bo realizes uh -huh. he killed his son. What are you doing out of jail, Larry? Wonderful money. It opens all kinds of doors, including cell doors. Nobody buys their way out of a murder charge, Larry. You'll do time, and you'll do hard time. No! You can't keep doing this! 
leave Lawrence in jail. Nicholas. Did you didn't kill Lizanne, but I know you did. Nikki. I know. Nikki. Lawrence liked Lizanne. You would never do anything. Nicholas, to her. listen to me. It's all right. Don't worry. I'm out of jail. I'm free to go. All right. All right. Now you go downstairs with Aunt Vivian. Okay. I'll be done in a moment. Take care of it. He's all right. Good, good boy. So tell me. How does it feel to realize you've lost Carly to me? I've been so damn curious. There were some people that I wanted to talk to. I'm sure you understand. I'm sorry. Why? About what I said earlier, I didn't mean that. It's just that sometimes when I first see you, I'm taken a little off guard and it hits me rather hard. It's all right. You don't have to explain that to me. I understand that. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know you don't have to worry. About tonight, I mean. I'd never do anything to take advantage of the fact that Roman's not here. I'm, I'm not worried at all. No one can take advantage of a person who won't be taken advantage of. And I won't. Not as vulgar as I'd hoped. When someone has more money than you have, the only satisfaction you can get is to say that they've got no taste. Obviously, Victor can afford to buy someone who has a lot of it. I can afford to buy a lot of things, Jack, including your newspaper. The paper's not for sale, Victor. Yet. I cannot tell you how sick and tired I am of having this come. Jack. Yes, yes. You were about to tell us what you're sick and tired of. Uh, actually, I've been seized by a great and terrible thirst. So if you'll excuse me, Jennifer, a uh, glass of white wine for you. And what are you drinking tonight, Victor? Type A or type O? Excuse me. Oh, yes, you're excused. What can I get for you, sir? Not what. Who? As in who's in charge of security. I need to see him right away. When I was a kid, I used to have this dream. I'd fall asleep in a candy store. And when I awoke, I was all alone. And there were goodies everywhere. Chocolate, peppermint sticks, caramel cream. I think I'm living the adult version of that dream right now. Yeah, the adult male version of that dream. Stop ogling women and help me find my babe. I don't even know what your babe looks like. He's got blue eyes, a killer smile, and he's here. Where? Right there. All I see is that glitter lady, Sammy. Ugh, come on, help me find him. Here you go. Call straight, crown and seven. And just because you're cute, a big smile from me. <laughs> Thank you. I can't tell you the last time I was so impressed with someone's verbal skills, with the exception of Prince Charles' stirring tribute to Camilla's knickers. Would you just shut up? You're the writer here. I'm just here to peddle your purple prose. We are talking about a rough manuscript of my novel. It's not water in the desert. You can peddle it all you like. There's no guarantee that someone here is going to buy it. Jack, I know my trashy novels. Trust me, they'll buy this one. I want you to give it to me right now. Jack, I don't have it. And wherever it is, it has Victor's name on it. I am talking about my nemesis in the publishing world. Someone I now hate, loathe, and despise. He is a rich publisher, Jack. How many of those do you know? I can't really answer that now. Why not? What are you talking about? Because I've stalled you long enough, that's why. Long enough? Long enough for what? 
it's just the one? The one? What are you talking about? What do you mean the one? She didn't have what I was looking for, unfortunately, but get her out of here quickly anyway. She may be armed. Let's see some employee ID, miss. I just got one question for you. Why is it somebody like you is one to go to a fancy party like this Titan thing anyway? I have my reasons, trust me. Now just give me the invitation. It's in the back room. Hang on. Come on, what do you mean she doesn't know what he's like? Marlene has known Victor longer than I have, for crying out loud. She knows exactly what kind of a creep that guy is. Not to mention the fact she's out partying with the SOB right now, and she's going to go to work for him. Women. Never been able to figure out? I'm never going to be able to figure him out. I guess that's why you're in this crummy bar and your wife's halfway across town. Well, excuse me, did you say something? You heard me. You two rather just sit here and bitch about your problems than do something about them. Isn't that right? I say we ignore fine, fine. Ha! 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 Finally! Excuse me? I just can't concentrate on this game any longer. What? Still bugged about Alamein? Yeah. The thing is, Roman, he was nervous. You know, jail would do that to people. No, he wasn't nervous when he was in jail. As a matter of fact, he didn't even blink an eye when I arrested him. I don't know, maybe it's crazy. I just can't shake the feeling that he was hiding something from me. It's because you're probably right. Probably is hiding something from you. In which case... There's only one thing you can do. Yeah, and that is? Start over again. Go back to square one. Get out all the files. Go over them again page by page. But this time, when you examine the evidence, don't do it as Carly's ex fiance Do it as a cop. Hmm? Yeah, you're right. All right, let's get out of here, shall we? I'm out of here. I'd love to help you, but I've got more important things on my mind. I'm sure you can handle it. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Thanks, Roman. And now that we have even more time to entertain, <sighs> Alice and I can't even manage to settle on a date. We made a pledge this New Year's. To... Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Horton, you were saying? I was saying that Alice and I were planning on having a little dinner party. A mix of, of friends and relatives. Maggie, Mickey, Jack and Jennifer, uh, Joe Weller from the hospital, and uh, Roman and Marlene, of course. Of course. What day would be good for you? Well, I'll have to get back to my schedule and uh, I'll call you first thing, all right? Ah, perfect. I got a big exam tomorrow. I'll have to check out of here pretty soon. You may want to wait until they announce the finalists to this face in the 90s contest. Why is that? Because Carrie's one of them. Don't say anything to her. She doesn't know anything about it. Okay, gorgeous. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Talk to yourself, little sis. Mm. That's not a good sign. Carrie, get us. Hoping <laughs> I'd run into you. He's here. Who's here? What do you mean, who? The babe, the guy oh. I'm majorly in love with. As soon as I track him down, I want to introduce you. Okay, but first I want you to meet my boyfriend. I've been dying for you and Austin to meet. Later, okay? I can't afford to let this trail go cold, okay? <laughs> Damn her. Her who? Uh, 
I didn't say her at all. Yes, you did. I heard you. You just said damn her. It. Damn it. Damn it. I'm cursing too much. That's all I'm saying, and I don't know why. I suppose it's just life's little annoyances that do that to you. The nuts so little ones, too. Suzanne Gardner files. I thought that case was closed. Just get the files and make it quick, okay? Excuse us, thank you. Talk about rude. All right. Where's the manuscript? I hid it. But don't worry. I'll get it when I get within three feet of Victor Kiriakis. No, 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 no. You're not getting anywhere near Victor Kiriakis. Oh, you understand which me. Which reminds me. When Victor buys the book and you get your advance, you make sure you get at least 110000 That's 100 that you owe me, and the rest is interest, which I've been compounding daily. The manuscript is not for sale. Well, you'll get it back when you give me the money you owe me. The money? Is... You have no idea how much I despise you at this moment. I mean, it's very obvious. You have no idea what's going on around here. What's at stake? You don't. I despise people of minimal intelligence oh, who Mrs. show up Here. and search. Mrs. Boss. No. I'm not going to turn around this stuff. Okay, fine. Jack. Uh, Jennifer. <laughs> I thought you were interviewing the mayor. No, he's not very talkative tonight. Billy, I didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> Neither did he. <laughs> well, I, I'm going to go mingle now. Bye. Well? Come, let's just go. Go where? Uh, wherever she's not. Just come on. I couldn't help but notice you from across the room. That suit is so handsome. That material, oh, it's just so wonderful. It's so unique. What do you call it? Whoa. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, it suits you. <laughs> no pun intended. Well, excuse me, Miss... Uh, Reed. Miss Billy Reed. Miss Reed. Now, I really hate to waste time, so why don't you spare me all the smiles and the empty flattery and tell me exactly what it is you want. I want to sell you a book. It is well written, it's commercial, women will cry, and you'll make a fortune, I swear to God. Good pitch, brief and to the point. Thank you. Unfortunately, I don't handle acquisitions. What does that mean? That means I don't buy books. That's taken care of by my chief editor. Her name's Kate Roberts. Why don't you give her a call? Well, can I tell her that you sent me? No. <sighs> There's no way I can recommend a book I haven't read myself. But cheer up. I'm sure somebody with your hoods will find another way to get what you want. <clears throat> Mr. Kiriakis. I don't mean to bother you again. It was just such a thrill for me to talk to you. I was wondering if there was something you could uh, give me to remember it by. And just what was it you had in mind? <laughs> uh, I don't know, just anything you could spare? Like a business card? Sure, why not? Thank you. Gabby. Yeah, 
You want to see happy, honey? You just stand back. Hi, could I have a champagne, please? And I need a scotch. You don't mind, do you? Mind? If I join you, I'd like to talk. Ladies and gentlemen, I may I have your attention, please? I don't want to miss this. Look, Doc, wait. The moment you've been waiting for has finally arrived. It's time to announce the final. Come on, we need to be up front for this. Face of the 90s. <laughs> Sir, I'm sorry. I, I didn't see you. Now return to Days of Our Lives. And in addition, the winner of the Face of the 90s contest will win an all-expense really? major daily. Uh, I'm just people watch. Really? Um, really? People watch over here. Thank you. Damn, so that's where she hit it. Now it's time to meet what? I, I said, if you want the story, you better go get it. Like, down in front, First, quick. Show the people in front. Come on. Come on. Jeannie Grunewell. And the second name on our list is Carrie Brady. Before we go any further, I think we should give you a chance to thank the person who entered you in the face of the 90s contest. Your boyfriend, Austin Reed. Thank you, Carrie. I am so happy for you. Thank you. I am so shocked. I never expected anything like this to happen. Why, why you're shocked? I've been telling you for years how gorgeous you are. Oh, uh, thank you, John. <laughs> there he is. Get it. How do you feel about the daughter? Oh, okay. Where'd she get her good looks from? You or your wife? There we go. Oh, I'm not his wife. Excuse me. Can we have you and your husband and Carrie together, please? Thank you. <laughs> what? You've gone home already. No, not just yet. Uh, what are you doing here? I didn't get a chance when we met earlier, but something I've been meaning to tell you. And that is? This? I just sound a little bit. What are you doing here, Lance? What are you doing here? At Arena, my lawyer's got me out on bail. You set me up? You set me up? You used that child to get me on a plane to Europe to keep me from Bo? You're not the only one who's losing something. I can't ever step foot in this country again. But that's worth the sacrifice so that my son doesn't feel deserted. You set me up! someone to trust. Now this plane's leaving in 15 minutes. You stay if you want, but I'm taking Nikki. I'm taking him to Europe before Bo finds out the truth. alibi corroborates Vivian's alibi, which corroborates Ivan's. Which leads us to Larry. Which would make sense, since he's the one who confessed to the murder. But that does not explain the way he acted tonight. As if he was covering for someone. 
That doesn't make any sense. He's the one facing the jail term. Besides that fact, there isn't anybody that Larry would lie for. Nikki. He'd lie for Nikki. He'd do just about anything for... Card. I affect your recommendation from Victor. As soon as Kate Roberts sees this, she's going to be calling you with an offer. Who's Kate Roberts? Victor's top editor. We're in her office. Not for long. Put it down. Jack, you'll have to kill me to get by me. Why didn't you say so before? No, listen, Jack, listen. You know what I don't understand? I don't understand how such a wonderful, emotional, sensitive book could be written by such an uptight, inconsiderate, sexless snob. What do you mean by that? Sexless. <laughs> oh, my God. You didn't, did you? That's the question. What do you mean by that? You didn't write this book. Someone else wrote it and you stole it, you thief. You are common. I want to know what's going General, on in here. What are you right? doing here? I just had to... I guess uh, I could ask the same question, but I think I might have the answer. You're stealing from Victor. From what? Kate, this one's a winner. Better snap it up before someone else does. Victor. This is obviously a book that Victor wants to buy, am I right? Obviously. Why did you do that? I'm just removing temptation. I know you don't appreciate that I just did that, but someday you'll thank me. Are you all right? All right. I'm fine. I couldn't be better. I think we'll be going now. I talked to Carrie after you left. She felt as though you may be coming down with something. Oh, well, she's wrong. Are you sure? Yes, I feel fine. All right, then. Why aren't you upstairs at the party with everybody else? I just needed some time alone. Why? I mean, if you're not ill, why are you here? What are you running away from, Doc? I think you should go. I think you should talk to me. You know what? Maybe Carrie is right. I, I don't feel very well. I think I'll just go home now. What do you know about Zen? About what? About Zen. As in 
Buddhism. It's very complicated, yet it's very simple at the same time. Like the story of the man who wanted to know who Buddha was. So we asked him, are you a god? And Buddha said no. So he asked him, are you an angel? And once again, Buddha said no. So he said, you must be a saint. For the third time, Buddha replied, no. So the man said, what are you? And Buddha looked at him and said, I am awake. Well, that's what the word Buddha means. Awake. That's how the whole thing started with one man who woke up. Why are you telling me that story? Because that's how I feel when I am with you, Doc. Awake, alive, and nothing and nobody on this earth makes me feel that way. Don't do this to me. Now, I know you want to go, and I'm not going to stop you, but please, there is one thing I need to say, all right? You know what I was going through when Isabella died? How I was walking around like a zombie, I was dead inside until that night on the plane when you and I made love. You gave me life again, Doc. And if nothing more comes out of this, I just want to say thank you. If you want me to leave, I will. given up on you for tonight. I'm sure my wife has, too. What the hell, I thought I'd surprise her. Do you have any idea where I might find her? Jack, just listen to what I'm saying. You can't go back to your old ways. Why, you have come so far from them. Are you listening to me? Do you consider me sexless? What kind of insane question is that? Insane, yes. Excuse me, I'm going to get the car. You stay right Wait here. Wait a minute, Jack. Jack, what's... Well, I didn't expect to see you here. I'm looking for Carly. Is she here? Is she at the party? No, I haven't seen her since this afternoon, actually. I need to talk to Carly, Jen. You know where she is, don't you? I can't tell you where she is. I know about Nikki. You know about Nikki. I know what happened the night Lizanne died. Look, I, there's no time for an explanation. I need to talk to Carly, Jen. Tell me where she is. <laughs> you deserve it. Look at this. Oh, ooh, wait a minute. There's somebody I want you to meet. Come here. Sammy. There's somebody I want you to meet. Sammy, this is Austin. Austin, this is my little sister, Samantha. This is your sister? Mm-hmm. How are you doing? Fine. Wait a minute. You two know each other? We've run into each other a couple of times. Um, congratulations, Carrie. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. Did you ever find your boyfriend? Yeah, I, I did. He had to go. Listen, I, I gotta go talk to someone. Oh, okay, don't worry about it. We're leaving anyway. You know, for that trip I told you about? Yeah. I remember. I'll see you soon, kiddo. Nice to meet you again. Take care. Have a good time. 
Hey, Sammy, isn't this great about Carrie? It's fantastic. I'm, uh, I'm really thrilled for it. <laughs> Please excuse me, Jonah. <laughs> Amina, Doc. If you want me to leave, I'll walk out that door right now, and as hard as it may be, I'll stay out of your life. If that's what you want. seen Marlena nobody seems to know where she went as a matter of fact I did she went downstairs a little while ago um either she went home or she's probably checking out the executive offices thanks I'll check there back with him in case he has any more nightmares. I know what happened, I know about Nikki, and I know you lied only to protect him. How? It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is it's over. This whole damn mess is over. And in the meantime, I've got something that belongs to you.
felt so loved or so happy before. And I owe it all to you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the best night of my life. Mm. This is just the beginning. Just wait till you win that contest. And you will. You know why? Why? Because you are the most beautiful girl. Oh. In the world. Excitement continues on Days of Our Lives. You are not going to get Carly away from Bo. He's not about to give up. Yes, I will. And now I realize what has to be done. And find out who catches John and Marlena. It's the episode you can't miss. Days of Our Lives, Monday on NBC Daytime. Up next, it's the glamour and excitement of the 1993 soap opera awards with stars from Days of Our Lives, Another World, All My Children, The Young and the Restless, General Hospital, Guiding Light, and more. The 1993 soap opera awards next. And Saturday night on an all-new Sisters, Alex begins to cope with her cancer treatment. NBC Saturday.